Today in Alabama. Good Sunday morning and happy Easter. I'm Demetria Connor. Thanks for being with us for this Sunday special edition of WSFA 12 News Today in Alabama. We'll check your headlines in just a moment, but first, as many of you head out to church this morning, meteorologist Jeff Jumper is tracking your morning forecast. And Jeff, definitely a cold snap for Easter. Will temps continue to drop? Yeah, a little cool on this Easter Sunday morning. The legislature wants to level the playing field when it comes to E911 service. For many of us, the changes could mean increased fees. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Wells has more. Well, here's an interesting fact. The very first 911 call made in the U.S. was a test of the system made in Haleyville, Alabama in 1968. Well, Governor Bentley says he voted for what he now considers an overreach. In 2003, the governor voted for Amendment 1, which is a $1.2 billion tax plan when the state was facing a big budget shortfall. Bentley says the predictions that Amendment 1 supporters made in 2003 didn't come true after voters rejected the tax increase. He said the economy picked up and state revenues grew to record levels. The governor says when governments say they didn't have enough money, that makes residents skeptical. Uh, it uh, put in the minds of people that uh, uh, government asked for all of this money, which was nearly $2 billion in money, and then within three years uh, or four years, we had more money than we knew what to do with in, the, in education. The governor says the current cutbacks for the general fund budget will be good for Alabama in the long run because they will force state officials to examine which state services are essential and which are not. Well, this morning, many are remembering the life of an eight year old who was killed by an alleged drunk, drunk driver. Haley Burks of Chilton County was laid to rest yesterday. Folks from the community went to Jeminson First Baptist to remember her young life that was cut short. Haley was killed last weekend when police say Danny Smith hit her as she and her family walked away from the air show in Northport. Police involved in the investigation led the funeral procession. Haley was a second grader at Jemison Elementary. Well, covering Pike County this morning, Troy police have a unique case on their hands. Someone reported gunshots were fired on Cobb Court last night. When police showed up to the trailer home, the alleged gunman jumped from his window. The man was injured in his attempted escape. Officials say he was taken to a hospital, but no arrests have been made. Well, we're on the gas watch this morning. Next week, the average price for a gallon of gas is expected to reach above $4. Not the news we want to hear. And get this, the national average for this time of the year is already at a record high at $3.93. The oil price information service blames reduced output. Three East Coast refineries were shut down last fall. Spring is also when refineries make repairs and prepare cleaner gasoline for summer, a requirement of the federal law. Well, here's a look at local gas prices for Montgomery. The average for a regular gas of gal excuse me, for a regular gallon of gas this morning is $3.82, a cent more than yesterday. Over the last month, the price has gone up nearly 30 cents. Well, some drivers in need of a fill-up got a surprise Friday. The Rock Church of Birmingham partnered with a local radio station and offered free gas at racetrack gas stations in Bessemer, Hueytown, and Tarrant. In one day between the three gas stations, the church gave away $10,000 and gas. Wow, we could really use that promotion here in Montgomery, right? Well, coming up, all you can eat crawfish. Sounds like a good seafood feast, right? Well, these folks were eating them for a good cause and we'll tell you why coming up. Plus, cooler temps crept in, but how long will they stay? Meteorologist Jeff Jumper will let us know in his full forecast coming up next. Wow, I'll be ready to uh Grab the jackets in the morning if you're heading out, similar to today. It was a little bit yeah. chilly out there, but that sun came up and it felt really it good really on the did. skin. It really did. All right. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Well, the eighth annual Autism Crawfish Boil was a fun way to kick off a month about a serious topic. April is Autism Awareness Month, and the Mud Bug Ball guests got the chance to enjoy more than 2,000 pounds of crawfish at Old Cloverdale's newest restaurant. The delicious food and good cause brought in hundreds of mud bug lovers. Pre-ticket sales were greater than we've ever had before, and walk-in sales were incredibly good based on the weather, 
We are hoping to be able to double our donation from last year. Proceeds from the event go to the Easter cells of Central Alabama and their efforts to open an autism family resource center. And it was an early Sunday morning for many of you. Several people across the river region attended sunrise services this Easter morning. We'll have more on that coming up. Plus, the kiddos and even adults were out in the beautiful weather yesterday. Easter egg hunting will take you on a few hunts coming up next. Many of you woke up early this morning to reflect on the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his victory over death, and mankind's hope for eternal life. This is footage from Landmark Church of Christ in Montgomery. Easter is typically the most well-attended Sunday service of the year for Christian churches around the world. Easter also marks the end of the season of Lent, the 40 days of the fasting period. Well, the town of Pike Road celebrated the Easter weekend at Mayor Gordon Stone's home. While the mayor was away, his wife Ellen was there to welcome families. There was a play area for the kids, a hayride around the property, and an Easter egg hunt. The Easter egg does have a spiritual significance during this holiday season. There's a, a deep spiritual significance to hunting Easter eggs, and here's the symbolism. When that egg is opened, it reveals new life. But the cross yields to the empty tomb. It opens and Jesus is alive. When the Easter bunny is ready to hide Easter eggs, remember snakes haunt them too. It's suggested to hide eggs off the ground in trees, on chairs, or elevated planters. Well, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Department held an Easter egg hunt on the campus of Auburn Montgomery. Kids hit the ground running, looking for as many Easter eggs as they could hold. Law enforcement officials appreciate this time because it lets them make a personal community connection. We're trying to bridge that gap between law enforcement and the community, and this is just one of the ways by being able to come out here and, and work with the kids and work with the parents and let them know, hey, look, we do care about them, and, and that's one of the, the most important things about us and our job is giving back to the community. The police department gave away bikes, skateboards, even MP3 players at the Easter egg event. Well, all your weekend sports highlights are coming up next. Yesterday, the Montgomery Biscuits held auditions for their new MC. <laughs> UCWSFA 12 News employee Demarcus Wing showing off some of his dance moves there, trying to make his name in the contest. About a dozen people showed up for the position. Bring a lot of energy and a lot of fun to the fans, and you know, a lot of people, you know, I can make them laugh, dance, and just have fun. I'm energetic, I'm fun, and I love to baseball, I love the sport, and I just want to have a good time out here at the Biscuit Stadium. Round two of tryouts is Monday. The new MC will make his or her debut for the home opener. Wow, those yeah. dance moves are pretty impressive. Know. Well, you know, Demarcus <laughs> is our cheerleader here in the mornings when we work, so uh, it looks like most of their games in the afternoon and evening hours, we won't lose them in the morning, so That's everyone true. will still be very cheery when you watch today in Alabama. All right, well, you have a final check of weather for us. Yeah, it looks pretty good out there today. Uh, please get outside and enjoy this today. I don't know if you're going to be hunting for Easter eggs or getting in the car and traveling to uh, families or friends' homes to eat some dinner, but it's gorgeous out there. 70 degrees by 10 o'clock, 74 at noon. It's even warmer than that at 77 by two. You may even think it's a little on the warmer side by the time we get to four o'clock at 79 degrees, but the humidity is not out there, so we're calling it just perfect right. by the afternoon hours. 79 for your high today, Monday into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday's our temperature at 80 degrees, but other than that, <laughs> look at that, 77 wow. Tuesday, 73 Wednesday, 75 Thursday. And you know what? Even that 10% chance of rain on Monday, we could probably just put your thumb over that. Like, and just put say, your hand up. Yeah. Just forget about yeah, it. Forget I, about I think our one. rain chances tomorrow <laughs> are very, very minimal. So yeah. many of you will have okay. a dry stretch for the next seven great. days. Mm -hmm. A great day for pictures too, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's it for this Easter Sunday special edition of WSFA 12 News Today in Alabama. We'll see you at 5 and 10. Have a good day.